Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Brian. I hope you're having a great day and um, enjoying the, all the snow that we've gotten this week. Uh, if you're anything like me, I'm ready for warm weather. But I wanted to share something with you today. I read a devotional just a few weeks ago and wanted to share some bits and pieces of that to challenge you for uh, your devotional for today. But first, before I do that, I have a question for you I want you to think about. When was the last time that you were hungry? All right, my guess is within the last 12 to 24 hours, you've been hungry, or maybe even right now you're hungry or you're eating something as we're talking. Um, or if you're like my three teenagers, every hour they're hungry. There's something that they need in their body to satisfy that hunger. Um, think of this, our bodies, they require daily food. Um, they, they require nourishment every day and our bodies take that food and digest it and turn it into fuel and energy that we need on a daily basis. Um, when God provided manna for his people, his children in the wilderness, he gave them just enough for that day, partly because he wanted them to depend upon him for that provision. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is instructing and teaching his followers, his disciples, and he instructs them to pray to the Father this way. He says, give us this day our daily bread. Now, thankfully, we don't have to go hunt and search for our food every day. Um, many of us have cupboards that are full, refrigerators that are full, and freezers that are full of food that we have and we can not have to worry about the daily looking for food. But I want you to think about the spiritual side of this, all right? Um, we need to recognize that our souls, our, our spirits, our souls, they require nourishment every day. Every day we need that physical, the physical food, but every day we need that spiritual nourishment. You know, Jesus modeled that and displayed that as we read about his life here on this earth. No matter how often we pray, no matter how often we read the Bible, we meditate, we memorize it, we attend church, there is still need for more. There's always room to grow closer to God. Um, we could spend 24 hours a day doing all of that I just said, and there would always be room for more. It would never fully satisfy. And I think God wired us that way intentionally so that we see our need for him to be satisfied and satisfied for in him. Just because we had an amazing spiritual moment yesterday in our personal time with God or Sunday morning at church and God spoke to us and we feel like we grew in our faith um, that was yesterday, that was two days ago, that was three months ago, whatever it may be. There's uh, a, a spiritual meal that you and I need today. And I really challenge you to take a deep look at the, the spiritual side of your nourishment that you're giving yourself and your spirit, your soul. We need to recognize that we need it. There's only one fuel source. There's only one person that can completely nourish and satisfy, satisfy spiritually, and that is a relationship with God Almighty. So I encourage you to begin or to continue um, a daily disciplined habit of reading God's Word, of taking time to pray, of spending time in communion and fellowship with God, uh, that is going to strengthen you spiritually like you cannot imagine. Um, I want to share with you Joshua chapter 1, 8. This is when the Lord is speaking to Joshua. He says, Do not let this book of law depart from your mouth, but meditate on it day and night so that you can be careful to do everything that is written in it. And I think we can take that as a challenge to us today that we need to meditate on God's word, the book of law, day and night and night so that we can be careful to do everything written in it. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you for your love and for your faithfulness. And I pray that we would have a daily disciplined habit of spending time with you. God, that our, we would 
uh, depend upon you for the spiritual nourishment, Lord, that we would rely upon you for all of that. And I ask God for a great spiritual growth in every person's heart, in every person's spiritual walk, that this year would be a, a year that it, we grow deeper in our faith and trust in you and that we would see great outcomes because of what you are doing in our lives. We love you, we trust you, and we depend upon you. In your powerful name we pray, amen. Amen. New Hope, have a great week. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday and stay safe.